Bijou Sports Central out of your Charles Ashley. Three and out here, Charles, mm -hmm. and it's time to get to some of those brackets that were released yesterday. Uh, it was a lot of fun going through it with Richard Tripp, but now it's time to kind of put some predictions in there and see where you stand because you've been a little bit sloppy with your baseball predictions, No, my predictions, baseball man. been good. I told you that the Rams were going to have a good season. I've been on point. No, no. I told you about that District 5. I said Rio Grande was going to have a good chance to sneak it away from Valley. They Come did. On, That's not a Come shocker. on, man. It's Rio Grande. I told you that La Cueva was going to find a way to cheat the system and get a three seed. I don't know how they did. They deserve it. <laughs> no. They deserve a higher seed, Absolutely. but I just don't know they, how it They are out. the best team. Look, we'll talk about okay, that in just so. a second, okay? Let's let's get to 5A softball real quick and, and throw this bracket up. Roswell's going to take on Los Alamos, the 314. This is the bottom of that bracket. Uh, Las Lunas is going to take on Farmington. Bertolino's going to take on Goddard, the 710. Aztec and Boleyn, the 215. If we can look at the top of the bracket in Class 5A as well. Centennial, the 1 seed, going to take on Moriarty, the 16. Mayamira... And Artesia going to go at it. The 8 9, that 5 12 matchups, Valencia Gallup and Piedro Vista 4, St. Pius 13. I'm going to give you my prediction right now, Charles, and that's Piedro Vista. Yes, they always do it. They got a four seed, but I promise you, when it comes playoff time, that's what they do. I'm going Piedro Vista. They got a good path there, but you can't discredit what Centennial's done, not just in softball, but in every sport that's this fine. season. They've I'm been going a, a powerhouse. Okay, that's, that's your pick, bro. So I like. <laughs> I'm going to stick with Piedra Vista just because oh, come on. You, you said they're going to be good. Listen, so I'm going to go with them. You just set up Centennial, I'm just, and you're taking Piedra I just, Vista. I set them up, but I'm not going to set them up and, All right. and go against a powerhouse. Right. That's the Class 5A softball bracket mm -hmm. for you. Uh, so we're both going to go Piedra Vista, even though you took your time. I still and like said, oh, look, Centennial. Look, I think Centennial still is probably going to okay. figure out a way to win this. But Piedra Vista, just like their boys team, Getting it, they always get it Tradition done around this time. And history has always won softball yeah. and baseball, and I'm going to stick with that. Uh, let's go to the 6A softball bracket now. And you could see, starting with the bottom again, Onyate and Albuquerque High. See that, my was a shout out to, to, see that was a shot to Jason Pohl, by the way. Okay. But you see how my team... Real Rancho against yeah. Sandia, the 6'11". Uh, La Cueva, shocked that they got a 7 seed. Going to take on a no Trisco respect. Heritage and Las Cruces versus Valley. I honestly believe this is set up for Real Rancho to come out of. I really do. Real Rancho, the only team to take down Volcano this year, and they've done it twice. Uh, I just believe C Cleveland was their kryptonite. Cleveland yeah. was their kryptonite, and they're away from Cleveland and away from Volcano. If you look at that top half, look at all of these in-district matchups. Volcano versus Santa Fe. <laughs> Carlsbad yeah. versus Hobbs. Alamogordo West Mesa, the only non-district matchup in that top half. And then Cleveland versus Cibola. I believe this is destined for Volcano and Cleveland, and that can go either way, the firepower that both of them It's have. destined. I mean, West Mesa had a decent year, but Alamogordo, uh, traditionally a powerhouse too. I, I can see them causing some, some trouble, but I think it's going to be Volcano and Cleveland myself. I'm I agree with you with the La Cueva thing. I thought the Bears, Lady Bears, should have probably been seated a little higher than where they had. No respect. They run through their district. They lose three games on a year. Uh, great hitters or whatnot. So you got, I got Real Rancho over Volcano at the, in, the, in, 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 the in an if game. I think it'll go, uh, I think it'll go, uh, Volcano will probably make it there. I'm going with La Cueva to come out. I'm going with La Cueva to come out that side to match up with Volcano. You're out of control. I'm not out of control. You're out of Lady control. Lady Bears. Don't let me down. 5A boys bracket, or baseball bracket, yeah. I should say. And there's the top half of the bracket. Well, you knew it was going to be. Pedro Vista, Vista versus Roswell. Artesia, Santa Teresa. Valencia is going to take on Las Lunas. Albuquerque Academy going to take on Boleyn. If you go to the bottom half then, starting with the, the Chargers have a favorable bracket, man. That's Los Alamos going to take on Aztec. Española Valley, Farmington, St. Pius, Centennial, Goddard, Bernalillo. Because I've seen Goddard a lot this year, I'm going to go with the Rockets. Winners of Sal Puentes Memorial, a uh, fantastic season. I thought they might get the one seed actually over Piedro Vista. I'm going to go with Goddard against Piedro Vista in a rematch of the championship, and I think this time Rockets have the horses to get it done. Me, Goddard. You get, well, you got to go with Goddard. Uh, Artes is always a sleeper when it comes to, to baseball. They always got some studs out there. You but think Academy can, I can like take Academy. Piedro Vista? I like Academy. I like them for – I think they got a good path. Piedra Vista, they're going to get to that final. Anything can happen then, and then they're going to be set up with a nice matchup so against your God of Rockers. I just told you I'm going with Albuquerque Academy, Albuquerque man. Albuquerque Academy. All right, Albuquerque Academy it is. Let's get to the 6A brackets now. 
uh, on the baseball side. And uh, this was not a shock at all. Oñate is the one seed they'll take on Siebel of the 16. Shout How about out to that? Real Grand, How about man? that 8-9 matchup? We mentioned Cleveland slipped two games at the end of the season. They go from a 2 to an 8, and they're playing Hobbs. Tough best of three. Volcano's going to take on Real Grand. I think that's favorable for them. Yes. Carl's bad against Sandia. I think very favorable for them. Uh, and you go to the bottom of the bracket then, Charles, and um, – you got La Cueva. There they are, the three seed. They'll probably meet up with El Dorado in the quarterfinals. It's crazy. Um, and you've got Clovis mm -hmm. taking on Mayfield and Real Rancho against Las Cruces. I do believe Real Rancho did get a favorable Real Rancho, draw to the semis. They did, at but least. now Clovis will have a chance yeah, to prove they themselves can beat them. or whatnot. Wyatt Kelly, I'm curious if they'll pitch Wyatt Kelly if they make it to I the quarterfinals. I want to see. Game. Trevor Rogers, Tanner West, possible second round matchup. It'll happen. That's that's a big time. El Dorado La Cueva. I'm oh. going El Dorado in this bracket. I think they're going to win the state championship. I like El Dorado. I think Nate is going to take El down La Cueva. Bandwagon. So who do you got? I got El Dorado coming out that side. Yeah, but you I, got I him like beating on is Onyate going to make it? I don't think Onyate is going to make it. They uh, could lose to Hobbs or Cleveland in the second round pretty I think easily. Cleveland has the talent to get past Onyate and they're going to prove it. I think Onyate's not playing some of these top caliber teams. We'll hurt them going into this tournament. I think Cleveland comes out of that side. Matches up with El Dorado. Okay, well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take El Dorado. Uh, and who? See? It's okay. Go ahead, just say it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go on Yate. I'm Why? gonna give on Yate the credit. Because they've had a great season. They've earned it. They've had so a if you're season. so so let's talk about the the seeding situation. I did not expect the Laquava get a three. No, I didn't. You didn't. No, I thought a five or a six. I think the coach from what I heard, tons of coaches voted them number one, which rightfully so, they were the number one. I team. wouldn't be surprised if it is Carlsbad and El Dorado in the championship. Um, you know, I'll take it. Garley, I'll take it. Trevor Rogers. I'll take Carlsbad. I'll take Carlsbad against El Dorado. That's my official pick. That's Carlsbad official. Carlsbad versus El Dorado. El Dorado wins it. So, State champ. so you don't think Tanner West can get past? He can. Okay. He absolutely can. Trevor Rogers will outduel him. The lefty sophomore. Ooh, lefty versus lefty. That'd be fun. Come on back, you Sports Central.